Yes. So we're going to continue in this lesson with our previous started data. Now, the previous lesson, we had started with the, the dirt under your feet. So we have completed the contact clues in this section. Then we'll have to move on to the section where we study the meanings of each word. So kindly repeat after me. Infection. Category. Decompose. Consequence. Fungus. Parasite. Host. Seek. Consume. Impact. Now, we're going to go into the specifics of each word. We're going to highlight the syllables. Then we're going to look at the part of speech, the words in sentences, look at a few synonyms and their antonyms. So let's go. The first word, let me just erase this. The first word is infection. Now infection has three syllables. One, two, three. The second syllable is stressed. Repeat after me. Infection. Infection. Now, infection is a noun. When your body has an infection, germs. making you sick. Repeat after me, infection. Now, can you give me a sentence with the word infection? Think of one. Think. Mm -hmm. You can do it. I'll help you. The strict hygiene will limit the risk of infection tremendously. Infection. Now let's think of a synonym of this word, infection. One synonym is disease. Can you give me a sentence with disease? Yes, think, think. I'll help you. Disease is an important topic in science history. Can you think of a few antonyms for the word infection? Mm -hmm. You can do it. I'll give you one. Sanitization. Sanitization. Now, can you give me sanitization in a sentence? Mm -hmm. Think. Yes, yes. Good. You can do it. Okay. Let me give you one sentence from my side. The sanitization of the infection was greatly welcomed by the community. Now let's move on. The next word is category. Category has four syllables. One, two, three, four. The first syllable, cat, is stressed. Repeat, category. Now, category is a noun. When you organize a group of different things, you gather those that are alike in, the, in some way into a category or group. Can you put the word category in a sentence for me? Mm -hmm. Think, yes. Okay, let me give you one. The categories of bacteria in the soil of a farm are countless. Yes. Now, let's think of a synonym for the word 
category. Synonym would be class. Other synonyms will include kind and section. Now let's put section in a sentence. The section that the students were in was over the top. Or the section that the student were, was in was considered to be the greatest. Okay, now let's go to the other word, which is decompose. Now, decompose has three syllables. The third syllable, which is here, this is two, one. The third syllable is stressed. Repeat after me. Decompose. Decompose. Now, decompose is a verb. When garbage breaks down or rots, it will decompose or decay. Can you give me a sentence with the word decompose? Yes, good. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, I know you can do it. Let me give you one. A few bacteria decomposes dead animals and plants. Now, do you know any synonym for the word decompose? Mm -hmm, you can do it. One synonym would be breakdown. Another synonym would be decay. And it goes on. Now let's put the word decay in a sentence. Yes, you can do it. The organisms will decay in a few months. Now let's think of a few antonyms of the word decompose. Some antonyms include develop, grow, improve. Now put the word improve in a sentence, which is the antonym for the word decompose. Decompose, antonym of develop. Okay, let me give you a sentence. The atoms in the bottle will develop over a five-year period. Good. Now let's move on. Let's go to the other word, which is consequence. Consequence. Consequence has three syllables. One, two, three. The stress is on the first part, which is here. Repeat after me. Consequence. Consequence. Consequence is a noun. Mm -hmm. One consequence of not cleaning up your room is that you will begin to lose things as a result of the mess. Consequence. Now let's think of a few synonyms for the word consequence. The first synonym is effect. Mm -hmm, you can do it. Yes. Another synonym is repercussion. Another synonym is aftermath. Now let's put the word consequence in a sentence. One positive consequence of presence of bacteria in the soil is that nothing is wasted. 
Now let's use the word effect in a sentence, which is a syllable for the word consequence. Because he did not complete his homework on time, it had a negative effect on his end of year mark. Now let's think of antonyms for the word consequence. A few antonyms are beginning, cause, start. Now let's try to put cause in a sentence. Her illness was caused by the expired medication she took. Good. Excellent. Now let's move on. Let's go to the word fungus. Fungus has two syllables. One, two. Fungus. The stress is on the first syllable, which is hair. Fungus. Now, fungus is a noun. A fungus is a plant-like organism that has no leaves, flowers, roots, or chlorophyll. A fungus feeds off the material on which it grows. Now, can you give me fungus in a sentence? Yes, you can do it. Fungus is singular. Fung fungi or fungi is considered to be the plural. Now let's use fungi or fungi in a sentence. Fungi are often seen feeding on other organisms in the soil. Now can you th think of syllables or sorry synonyms for the word fungus? Hmm. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Synonyms include mold, mushroom, yeast. Now let's put the word yeast in a sentence. Yeast is a fundamental what? Yeast is a fundamental material for cakes. What do you think about my sentence? Can you give me a sentence similar to this? Now let's move on. Let's go to number six, which is parasite. The stress is on the first syllable, parasite. Parasite is a noun, and there are two meanings for the word parasite as a noun. Number one, number two. And number two wasn't good in me. Okay, number one now, a tapeworm that lives inside a dog is a parasite because it steals from another animal what is needs to survive. Second meaning is, as the, the now, if someone lives off your money and kindness, he or she can be called a parasite. Now, can you give me a sentence with the word parasite inside? I'll give you one. Or do you need more time to think of a sentence on your own? I'll give you a few seconds. Okay, let's go. Fungus is often seen as a parasite that attaches itself to the stems of trees. Parasite. Okay. 
Now let's think of synonyms for the word parasite. Parasite. Do you know of any synonym? Okay, I'll give you one or two or three. Leech, spung. And other synonyms would include deadbeat, leech. Again. Now, let's put the word leech in a sentence. The leeches that are found in organism are considered to be a bit dangerous. Now let's think of antonyms for the word parasite. Antonyms include blessing, benefactor, benefactor. Now let's put the word blessing in a sentence. Yes, good, you're thinking, good. Now let's make one with blessing. The blessing of having a productive, what? A productive organism in your body is countless. Now let's go to the other word, which is host. Host. Host is a noun and a verb. Now, as a noun, it is an animal or plant on which another animal or plant feeds. As a verb, to offer food and entertainment at your own party is to host an event. Now, let's put the word host in a sentence with the first meaning that is okay host in the food chain fungus and its host work with each other to get various benefits now let's go to host as a verb his father had hosted the party last year. Now let's go to number eight, which is seek. Now, seek is a verb. When you look for something, you seek something that is unknown or lost. Can you put seek in a sentence? Mm -hmm. You can do it. Good, yes. Let me help you. Many organisms seek various nutrients around the roots of a tree. Now let's think of a few synonyms for the word seek. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Let's go. Think. Think. Some synonyms include explore, hunt, look for, search for. Now let's put the word search for in a sentence. The student searched for his pencil the student searched for his pencil good now let's think of a antonym for this word which is find now let's put find in a sentence After numerous days of searching for 
his homework book, he had finally found it. Okay, let's go on to this. Let's go to number nine, which is consume. Repeat after me, consume. Now, consume is a verb. Now, when you consume food, you eat it. Another meaning here, a fire is said to consume a house if the fire destroys the whole house. Now, let's put the word consume in a sentence. Mm -hmm, you can do it. The tiger had consumed the zebra entirely. Do you know of any other sentence using the word consume? Yes, you can do it. Now let's move over to a few synonyms for this verb. Synonyms include devour. Another is devastate and so forth. Now let's think of a few antonyms for this word. Antonyms for the word consume. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can do it. Fame, consume, antonym, consume, antonym. Antonyms include fast, starve, build, construct. Now let's put the word starve in a sentence. The tiger had starved for a few weeks. Good, good, thank you. Now let's go to number 10, which is impact. Impact, the stress is on the first syllable. Repeat after me, impact. Now, impact is a noun or a verb. As a noun, just here, changes have an impact or major effect on your plans. That is as a noun. Now, think of a sentence using impact as a noun, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can do it. Okay, let's go. I'll give you a sentence from my side. My trip to America has a great impact on my success in my future career. My trip to America has a great impact on my success in life. Now let's move on to the word impact as a verb, which it says good fortune will impact your life because it will affect the way you live and make a difference. Again, good future fortune will impact your life because it will affect the way you live and make a difference. Now let's, let's think of synonyms for the word impact, verb synonyms. Yes, you can do it. Verb synonym would be influence or reper repercussion. Now let's put the word impact in a sentence before using its synonym. The lecture had impacted me positively. The lecture had impacted me positively. Now let's use the word influence, which is a synonym for the word impact. 
My brother had influenced me throughout my life. Another synonym, which would be effect. It had affected me more than I had expected. Thank you for what thank you for watching and listening and hope to see you in the next podcast. Bye.